Hi Stitchy friends, um, I'm back, I'm back, <laughs> oh there we go, it's the girls are back too, <laughs> um, those of you that know me on Instagram and Facebook, sorry I'm a bit slow today, will know where I've been, <laughs> but those that don't, I have been in it all for a long time. Um, I've had ovarian cancer and I've had all my gubbins cut out so I've had a full hysterectomy and, and that's both the ovaries and the cervix and the womb and anything else that's attached to that area is gone. They've taken my appendix as well because that was a bit swollen. Um, some lymph nodes and other stuff. It's all written in here, I don't know. Um, and the huge tumour that was um, started at my left ovary and it grew up underneath my rib cage and was going to the right side. Um, so yeah, so they've taken all that out. And well, I feel like I've been hit by a truck, honestly. You wouldn't believe it. Um, I can't lift anything. Um, I've tried to do a bit of hoovering today and that was a big mistake just completely knackered myself I just had a bath I've got a bath lift which is okay so it lowers me up and down so I haven't got to lean over anything I've got to do my roots look at the grey coming through there but um, I'm not up to doing that just yet oh uh, yeah so I have been away so I'm so sorry I thought I'd do a, um, a video from the hospital but I was so ill all, all my plans just didn't Millie all my plans just didn't kind of come to life, I'm afraid. I just led there like a lead balloon and was whimpering in pain. <laughs> my lovely son come down and looked after me and um, while I was knocked out on morphine, took over my YouTube and <laughs> my floss too. So he's well away now. So that's um, Fox and Jackal Stitches, if you want to watch him on Floss Tube, he's very good. Um, yeah, so I'm very proud of him and he's making patterns and he's starting stitching. Who'd have thought, you know, I only had my eyes turned for five minutes. But anyway, so lots of people seem to like him. He's, he, is a, he is a big laugh, he's a barrel of fun, I'm sure you'd like him. Um, I've had... So I'm, I'm so out of breath, I'm still, still not well. I've had so many well wishes, um, so much positive energy, and I'm talking hundreds and hundreds of people have been sending love into the cosmos for me. And I think some of that has actually made a difference because, you know, I actually came through it. Um, and the chances are they've got it all. It's, it was all contained in that huge mass and it was borderline about to spread and they got it just in time. It's like the nick of time because the doctor said that, you know, if they hadn't got it out, I probably wouldn't have made it to Christmas. So, yeah, and that's a bit scary. But now, I mean, I've got no lady bits left apart from the boobs. Um, for cancer to grow in so I should be okay hopefully S yeah still waiting for the um, still waiting for the okay um, from the um, the people who test it or the, the um, what do you call it I'm trying to think I'm looking at this letter trying to think what's the word I'll get some of that here what's the word I'm looking for Biopsy, that's it. So I've had lots of biopsies. Um, and so waiting for the two weeks. There's something wrong with my lungs, apparently. 
um, but they've taken histology something and extra help will be given if they need it but I, I think I'll be all right I've come through the mill right so that's all good I'm still strong I've got a few bruises from they're much better now than they were a few bruises from my um, is it cannulas they are sticking needles in me left right and center my my veins shut down um, and I wasn't scared of needles before I went in but I'll tell you what I'm terrified of them now um, I'm still having the nurse come in every day and giving me my blood clot injections in the stomach which is a bit stingy but it's all right um, at least she hasn't got to find a vein for it that's something um, and I have nurses come in and check my tummy my wound which is like a, a zip that goes all the way up there and somewhere in the midst of that my my tummy button has disappeared <laughs> so I no longer have a belly button but it's better than dying isn't it at least I'm alive uh, yeah so all is good in the hood I've got my two girls oh, I've got my two hours back but it was suggested that I should let Coco go because I was too unwell for a dog that size and very sadly I've had to accept for Coco to be rehomed excuse me um I've got, I've got two hours, my two girls, and it's fine, and I can, I do very slow, very small walk in the mornings, I can do that, and I understand that I couldn't manage Coco anymore, and it was too cruel to put her in another home and expect her to come back again months down the line, so I had to let Coco go. So yeah, this cancer has been uh, quite a cruel thing. It's changed my life. My life is upside down now. And um, but you know, like my son says, you've got to be positive and you've got to look forward and you've got to move on. And that's how I'm going to get better. So that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, so yeah back on the floss tube and yeah so look at the positives right a positive I got a present from a lovely lady called Vicky <laughs> so me this look it's a little witch I haven't named her yet I'm thinking of a name I've got a Bridget and Oh, I've got lots. Of, I have to think. My brain is just not there at the moment. But she's got a little teapot and teacup, and she's got like one of those little stitchy plastic things and a bobbin, and she's got sewing machines and pins, and she's got a uh, a needle somewhere. I don't know. Where's, there's a needle. Can you see? So she's a stitching witch and she's absolutely gorgeous. She's a little one. And look under there, she's got she's got spider knickers. <laughs> I just love her. I think she's beautiful. So thank you so much, Vicky, for thinking of me. Um and it's sort of like you know, it has helped to soften the edges of what's going on at the moment. So, stitchy stuff, because that's what I'm supposed to be here for, after all. So, when I first went in hospital, I started doing this one. There we go. I forget what it's called now. I've been on so much morphine. Oh, it's called Mice in the Sewing Room. Mice in the Sewing Room by Brenda Gervais. I think it's with thy needle and thread 
Um, so I've almost finished it. I haven't done her the bottom feet on the mouse and she's standing on like a green grass or a carpet or something. So I don't know whether I'm going to put the carpet in. But um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I'm pleased with my stitching too. You see my stitches look quite nice, don't they? So yeah, that's the one when I went in hospital first. And then I came out, they said you can have a weekend try and get yourself together before the big whammy so I packed two stitching projects and the first one I packed was uh, Barbara Anna uh, Love Never Fails there it is and this is where I got to on there I've done it wrong down here but once the morphine was kicking in things started trailing off pretty fast and I didn't get as much done on it as I thought I would so I packed two projects thinking oh you know I'm going to finish that within a couple of days and I'll need another one no the pain was just like I never experienced in my life honestly I thought I was going to die I was so convinced and uh I was hallucinating and uh, you know it hurt just to even lift my hand up slightly lift a finger it was just ridiculous pain um, I hope I never have to go through anything like that again I tell you but yeah so it kind of wasn't able to keep on top of that one do you like my little the little cat <laughs> £1.50 from Sammy's Craft Supplies on Etsy. Dear little soul, look at that. Love that. And I've put it in, this project goes in my Halloween project bag. The vintage cat, Halloween cats and it's got bats in there. And that's from So Much To Love on Etsy. There we are so much to love and it's a great bag lovely it's a good size so put that back in there there we go and then the other project i took for hospital was a, this is my other bag that was given to me as a gift and it, it was made using the bonner's pattern i love this bag Look, it's got owls on there and it says Hubble, Bubble, Toil and Trouble behind it. And on the inside, it's got like skeleton and uh, cobwebs and stuff. It's beautiful. And it's, 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 I wouldn't describe it as stiff, but it's sturdy. And I think that makes it a, the favourite um, project bag for me. Because it just feels like it really protects lost my watch in there <laughs> so yeah the second project I took in was this Nantucket by Little House Needleworks and my lovely friend Tammy got me the threads for it and I was all ready to to stitch it and I got the fabric which is Belfast 32 count doubloon and I got my frame ready and that was a that's a lovely gift as well this beautiful grime guard which i love um yeah so all ready to do it and got my cat needle minder there from midnight crafter but uh, despite me being in there for the length of time that i was in there i just couldn't do anything right up until the day that i was um discharged was the first day that I even managed to walk you know five steps it was you know I just, oh, I just couldn't do anything and I didn't expect that at all uh, yeah so it's just a short video today guys just to say thank you um, for looking out for me thank you for taking my son to your hearts and supporting him because by doing that is I don't have to do it <laughs> thank you 
I could just concentrate on getting better because I know you girls out there and guys are looking after my Chris and um, you know you've made his day you know with all the the love and you know and the praise for what he's he really needs it you know he needs a hand up and I just thank you so much guys for for stepping in when I was when I had stepped out <laughs> Um, Millie! I wanted to show you Millie and Bindi so you could see they're still okay. Millie! Not really supposed to lift them. But Millie's still barking at Merlin, as you can hear. Nothing's changed there. She was a little bit shell shocked when I come home from hospital because she'd missed me for a couple of days, well, a couple of weeks. And um, Bind! Here goes Bindi. Come here, come. Here she is. Here's Millie. Millie, come and say hello. Put your head up so people can see you. Yeah, there she is. There she is. Yes, yeah, she got, before I went into hospital, she got into a bit of a to-do with Merlin. and um, She was barking at Merlin and Merlin put his paw through the gap in the fence and scratched her in the eye. And she's got a permanent white spot on her eye now. But it doesn't seem to bother her. She seems okay. You're quite happy, aren't you, Mills? Hey, I'm gonna go down now. I'm gonna go down. Let's get up. Bindi, Bindi, come and say hello. Because you've been missing for two weeks and people wondering what you've been up to. Here's Bind. Here's Bind. Hey, Bind, say hello. Say hi, everybody. There's Bind. Yeah, she's missed me so much and she couldn't stop kissing me when she came home and she's pretty much been stuck to me like glue ever since. But uh, that's understandable, I guess, isn't it? And so she's so nervous now, whenever I go near the door, she just runs up there as if to say, no, don't, you're not going out without me. She's worried in case I leave her again, but hopefully everything is fine now and... We won't have to, oh, careful, 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 Mum's tummy. Um, we won't have to leave her again. Oh, don't want to leave you, do you? Yeah. So, well, that's it then, guys. I've rambled on a little bit and I didn't have very much to show you. I'm so sorry. Um, oh, I do have one more thing to show you. I've got some, we forgot this, didn't we, Ben? I've got some needle minders. So I've got some needle minders from the Needle Keep Emporium and I ordered a reindeer because Christmas is coming and I almost very close to not having another Christmas so I'm kind of getting a little bit obsessed with things to do with Christmas now. Um, yeah this Christmas is going to be something. And then I've got Princess Leia. I've got a fox. Can I have a fox bin? I've got a little owl. And he's got a spider on it on the end of his hat. And I've got a gift from Kate at Needle Keep Emporium. And she's got me Hello Kitty Halloween. Thank you very much, Kate, for that. Oh god, he's coming in now. Just nurses all the time coming in. I'm very grateful though. You know, you just wanna you want the place to yourself after all that time in hospital and you just want to sleep and it's not happening yet. So yes. Goodbye my friends. Um thank you again, thank you, thank you, thank you, because you really are what has kept me going, kept me alive, really. Because I lost interest in, in everything else apart from stitching and floss tube and my lovely friends on floss tube and Instagram and um, of course my doggies. Um, and luckily I had my son, he would be able to read me what you were saying and 
you know, and take pictures and let you know how I was doing and yeah. Isn't it? Alright. Okay then folks, I'll try and do another video when I'm a little bit better. Slowly, slowly gets there. Um and hopefully I'll start a, a new project. Oh, I could do a, a whip parade. I didn't feel up to doing a whip parade today, but I might do one next time. Yeah. So thank you guys. Um, yeah, much love to you all. Bye bye.